Woofed. We have a fair amount of people now, and no longer four weeks of supplies. Hmm. This might be the biggest my caravan has ever been. Looks like an awful lot of stairs. And no doubt why mine all feel safe watching from above. Finally approach the black stone walls deep at the centre of Arborang. Petrus instructs you to head up the stairs while he hauls Rugga away. I'll leave Huffs when she learns she can't join you. I guess only the important people are invited, he says. I'll try to find a place for the rest of us. What do you think is best? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to Oddleaf. It's your call, Oddleaf. I trust your judgement. Do what I can, says Oddleaf. Up on top of that hill is where we ought to be. Oddleaf looks back at the Great Hall. Maybe if you had the king's ear, she suggests. Right, how oh, sweet talk, I'm fine. Black Rock Plateau casts a long indigo shadow over you like a storm cloud. Climb the steps, the view shifts from virgin green hills into a morbid panorama of carbonage and darkness. Eventually, words are failing me here. Eventually, you come to stand beside rich and powerful men with long names and banners, hold before King Minolf as you were. Akon is here, as well as Canary, both given a wide berth. Where you stand at the back of his enormous hall, King Minolf looks small and withered upon his throne. Speak slowly, as if stepping carefully through cobwebs of old memories. You only hear bits and pieces about changes of heart and protecting the weak. Eventually you give up trying to make out the words. Suddenly the hall goes silent. Everyone has turned to stare at you. The king beckons at your approach. Go, stop staring at me. Where he doesn't have any sort of voice like I've given him. Oh, just a little tiny wee cutscene. With this, the king sends the crowds away and takes you aside privately. You are to be thanked in person for bringing my son home to me. Now I'm afraid I must selfishly beg a favour of you. The road between Borsgard and Arborang is long, especially shared with a man like Raga. Tell me, how did you fare in his company? Well, he did try to kill me. Or not the first. Yet somehow he commands the loyalty of many. Maybe it says something about the hearts of men. I suspect you already know this. The man has poisoned me. He did it when we met in good faith. Negotiate peace. My menders have been unable to find a cure. Aga and I have something of a long and miserable history. No doubt he means to watch me wither on the throne. But perhaps you've seen his weaknesses. Something with which to coax an antidote from him. Convince him on my behalf. Oh, really? Yeah. Am I truly the best hope for this? You're not my only, but if I know Raga, it's all part of a game. I will use every option I have. Succeed, and you'll know my generosity. King calls for Petrus, and you soon hear his hard boots echoing off the high ceilings. A king? Captain Petrus, our friend Rook, has agreed to speak with Raga. Petrus, follow our guest's orders. You are now his to command as he needs. See that this gets resolved as soon as possible. Alright. Now we've got Petras. 
and an achievement. So we can go to Heroes, we can speak to Petrus, we can rest and we can go to the market. I can speak to Odlyf, who is of course, you know, is she? Yeah, I, I assume that means she's down at the gate, rather than up in that tower. Let's check out the market first. Loading times so far have been a hell of a lot better than this, which is good. Um. Getting armor a turn back is pretty awesome. Plus three talents is pretty awesome too. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think I buy that. Yeah, I buy that. I think I also buy that. No, I don't. 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 I go up here and I buy more supplies. We have a lot of supplies, so we have a lot of people. If that is not sorting them out, yes, we'll buy all of your supplies and go back to four weeks worth. Ish. Um. Right. I'm actually gonna. Upgrade some people first before we do anything else. I already know that. <laughs> um, right, so what's that new one about? Plus one break, armor turn or well turn. Right, okay. Ideally, I would like it. Um, I think this is where I upgrade Rick. Oh, I get to improve an ability. Nice. Okay. Uh, so we get two points. What have we got there? Lucky shot. Take a couple of willpower. I really cannot select this other thing. Okay. I think I'll one in that and another in the lucky shot. Confirm there. Um Ogar needs promoted. Yeah, let's go from one in that. I'll give another willpower as well. Uh, Petrus is level 10, gee, but... Yep. What's he got abilities with? Bloody fail, run through, reinforcements. Ho ho ho. Nice. 
Petrus is definitely getting used. Damn it. the party which you can drop and odd comes back in that works for me right I want to promote one other person um so what's that That's Yeah, I think that's probably plus two range test. Eh. Right, must she go there now? Plus two break. Plus one move. Wouldn't need to do the move. Uh, no, that's fine then. Stuck with just the 76 renown on us. Right, let's speak to Oddly first. You're back. What was all that about? What did the king have to say? Something about putting aside our differences. And he wants me to try and ring an antidote out of Rugger. In spite of dying, everyone's been letting it the city under his protection. I wonder if I'd change my mind like that if I knew the end was near. Is it not? Get up, you know what I mean. So how are you feeling about all of this? All of this? Care to narrow it down? He smiles politely, waiting for your question. Ah... <laughs> What's your deal with the horseborn anyway? Uh, my deal? What do you mean? Oh, you're going to pretend like there's nothing up with you. I heard you giggle the first time you saw one. I don't giggle. Oh, okay, okay. Look, just don't repeat this. Promise? I promise. When I was a girl, I remember my father showing me pictures of horseborn. Sorry, horses. They looked amazing. I wanted one so bad. Then he told me they were all killed. Totally wiped out. Do you know this story? Legend says the Loom Mother made horses and another god created the horseborn from them. But there was a time when both horseborn and horses existed. They'd see people use horses for farming and carrying goods and wouldn't know how to react. Was it slavery? Were horses like children to them? Or some living reminder that they're just dumb beasts? You could ask the same about Faro. Come on, it's not the same. Far look pretty different from Yorks. No debate how the horseborn were made. Anyway, rather than let anyone own horses, stories say the horseborn went crazy and slaughtered them all. Then they fought the humans a bit, but eventually retreated far south. They say the horseborn felt such shame about the massacre, it just never returned. Who knows what the truth really is? Up till the moment I saw one, never even sure the horseborn really existed. But they're real, they're really real. And they're beautiful. And they're causing us all kinds of problems. All leaves beaming face and white grin deflates. Tell me about it. He smiles politely, waiting for your question. What would you do in my nose position? That's a tough one. You know me, I want everyone to live. Maybe even not hate each other. Ruggers men are bastards, but I don't think they deserve to die. I'm just glad the Varl are on our side. I'm not the king, so I guess there's not much else to say about it. What should we do about Rugger? God, Cyrus, he didn't, just didn't exist. You know he's not going to just hand over a cure. Not without a high price anyway. He's gambling with people's lives for his own benefit. Why do people like him always seem to prosper? Uh, Uh, 
Different people, different needs. Can't argue with that. Nobody thinks they're in the wrong. Spend so much time and effort trying to do the right thing, and here comes Raga. May as well be stabbing children as he goes, and people love him for it. Anyway, what can we do? Bets and beatings don't seem to work. Man can take a punch, I'll give him that. Can't kill him yet either, for my love's sake. What does he even want? A throne? What's the point of ruling Arborang for a couple of days before the darkness takes it back? Ah, I'm sick of thinking about Raga. Let's change the subject. We better get back to camp. Yeah, I suppose we should. How are you holding up? Do you ever get tired of doing the right thing? You have no idea. Well, I have some idea. Just remember, you've always got a shoulder here. Don't try to carry this all on your own. And now to speak with... Wait a minute. What opens that? Oh, that's rest. Right, okay. And that's Petrus. Wait a minute, actually. I need to check to see how our two Varl are doing. They need another two days. Grr. Right, so that should be them rested. Back fighting fit. Yes, it is. Good. Look at that, actually. I know, I know. Make your damn mind up. I can't get from weed. Uh, don't. Yup. Let's go and speak to Petrus. Not had time for proper introductions. I didn't even know it would be necessary. Are you comfortable with the King's orders? Not a matter of comfort. I was given as much warning as you were. That is to say, none. If these are the King's orders, I'll follow them. Is there anything you wish to know? How did you become the guard captain in Arborang? Looks uncomfortable and unaccustomed to talking about himself. Won't bore you with the details. I was an orphan. When I was young and impetuous. I overthrew the vicious bastards who were selling children in the slums. Did it without killing a man. King Minolf made me an honour guard. A few years later, after an attempted coup, I became captain. We have a guess who incited that attempted coup. That's rise to power. Power only means you have the luxury of putting your own needs last. What can you provide? Several hundred trained fighters, weapons and armour, and access to the king should you need it. Several hundred fighters? A city of several hundred thousand? You're lucky for that. Look at Frostfeller, or Borsgard, the wealthy buy control. Any upset of balance, and the wealthy families hack each other to pieces over it. Innocent people get caught in the fray. The king is trying to change that in Arborang, but it's slow going. Tradition dies hard. In my experience, many would just prefer to hack each other to pieces in the first place. Why did I, Minolf put me in charge? I'm an outsider. It would be above my position to assume. But, in my opinion, answer the question yourself. The king knows the other clans at Arborang. Too well, I think. Schemes and secret plots flourish in a city like this. Your banner speaks for you. you better than an indebted outsider to handle the other outsiders? So, he can expect me to do as he says and take the blame if things go wrong too. That's one way to look at it. Aren't the wealthy families in Arborang going to be upset about this? Without a doubt. You probably have things to do. As you say, men were spread thin already. I'm almost more worried about the clans than the dredge. May I offer some advice? Please do. Rely on me to understand the city. Sometimes men who come from the countryside see things as a straight path. Arborang is a circle. Try to change direction suddenly, you risk being flung over a cliff. We are dangerously close to a steep drop. I appreciate your counsel. Thank you. Of course. 
If you need me, I will be nearby. And that would be that, it looks like. And nothing else here to do. Petrus again, but down here without actually. So let's do this one. Petrus escorts you to your camp, which was set up while you were gone. I know King Minoff asked you to speak with Rugga at once, but after his men ambushed us, you may have been too. He's not capable of speech for the moment. Seems like you two have some history. I will bring you to speak with him as soon as possible. For now, I would suggest rest. It's been a long day for us all. Godleaf has been waiting for you to return. You can hear her singing and laughing in the distance. Where is everyone? Celebrating. For the first time since we left Skoga, we can just stop. We made it. Thanks to you. I don't feel done yet. The dredge could easily tear through that flimsy outer wall if they wanted to. As far as I can tell, we've still got no answer to the darkness. What do you think Eve is doing right now? Probably keeping them all from killing each other if I know Eva. I know you're right, but I miss him. It feels strange, this sudden calm. Nothing to do but wait. You're right, I can't even work on Ruggie yet. The guard captain went wild on him. Good. On the other hand, what if Meinhof dies? Between Ruggie's loyalists, the horseborn and the power struggle, the city may turn on itself. The harder we try to grip this world, the faster it seems to slip from our fingers. What if we didn't think about the rest of the world for one night? Are you suggesting? Yes, Rook, I'm very much suggesting. <laughs> well, well now, then I'm very much accepting. Oh, then I guess the celebration will have to wait for us a little longer. Hey, Jacob, bam bam. <laughs>so folks i hope you enjoyed that that was the banner saga 3 bloody enjoyable so if you enjoyed that thumbs up button lets me know you did if you've got anything you want to let me know put it in the comments below and if you want to join me for the rest of this don't forget to click subscribe for now though i've been beardos this has been the banner saga 3 you take it easy have a good day adios